Hey guys, welcome back to the Wandering Wind. Today we're going to be continuing our journey through Genshin Impact. I'm feeling a bit better. Yeah, you're right. Oh, I mean, looks so sad though. Yeah, he probably does. There's probably a lot he's not telling us. <laughs> For good reason, though. Right. Right. Very true. Thank you, Paimon. I'm glad to have you as a guide. Oh, is this when the high-pitched Paimon voice starts? Oh, good lord, this is going to be a slog. Although, where should we go next? If we want to continue with the journey... Hmm. Hmm. Well, I'll need to find a way to oh, Inazuma. Oh, the god that's on your right. After all... I need answers from her. Oh, yeah. Paimon bet she's the key to understanding this whole mystery. Yep, probably. Huh? Let's find the Electro Archon. Hmm. Why don't we ask someone from Inazuma how to gain entrance? Let me try and think. Hmm. Oh, Paimon spotted someone already. Atsuko is Leah Harbor. She's from Inazuma. Oh, nice. Hey, how convenient. We got an in. Let's see what she has. <laughs> and so begins Autumn Winds, Scarlet Winds. The interlude hmm. to chapter th three, no, two, two, chapter two. So, again, I'm recording this late at night. I apologize if I'm not as enthusiastic or energetic as I usually am. I don't have very um, I guess normal sleeping habits, so yeah, just so you know. Oh, I did manage to get a few things, um, so um, I've managed to, yeah, there we go, managed to get a few new weapons, although most of them aren't worth much yet. Um, managed to get quite a lot of new um, artifacts for my characters so hopefully that helps me build them up better I'm going to eventually actually try farming for proper artifacts for each but for now that's what I've got um hmm what else oh yeah I've been following along with all the events I'm currently waiting Another day, 15 hours and three minutes until the Nahida update. <laughs> but as you can see, I've already got 64 wishes. Oh, I hope I can get Nahida. She would be a boon for my game. Anyway, all right, so let's continue. Hey, Atsuko. Oh, hello. Oh, uh, I mean good fortune, right? I'm still <laughs> learning to talk like a local. <laughs> I'm still learning to talk in general, so don't feel bad. Is there anything I can help you with? We wanted to ask, how do we get into Inazuma? Mm. Oh, so that's why you're here. Well, well there is a way. Great. We can... But the chance of success is incredibly, incredibly small. small. Inazuma, that I found out just how dangerous this method truly was. Mm. All I had to rely on was a little wooden raft that I'd put together myself. There was a storm raging ahead of me, and my pursuers were close on my tail. Oh my. After I'd escaped that I floated mm. on the open ocean for, I don't know, how many days. My 
rations and fresh water supplies soon ran out, and I remember getting to the point where I was sure I'd reached the end. Then I blacked out. Poor thing. But to my surprise, my journey didn't <laughs> end there. Or to put it another way, a new beginning found me. You got saved, didn't you? Uh, that's right. I escaped by the skin of my teeth. <laughs> the fact that I'm even alive to tell the tale must be a sign that the gods were watching over me. Or that you got very lucky. Horrible journey. Well, because everything is just too restrictive over there. The atmosphere is so stifling. Yep. The Kanjo Commission subjects everyone leaving or entering the nation to a protracted approval process, and I felt like I didn't belong there. I don't belong. I don't belong. The Kanjo Commission? Along with the other two commissions, they oversee everything in Inazuma. Oh my, the Tri Commission. Them as the tri -commission. <laughs> I suppose they're hmm. equivalent to the eight trades under the Liu and Chiseng. Oh my. So they're the form of government they got over there. One of the obligations of the Kanjo Commission is to conduct rigorous identity checks on all individuals leaving or entering in Azuma. Lovely. Meanwhile, the Tenryo Commission is responsible for implementing the recently promulgated Vision Hunt Decree. Oh my. They act like the executive arm of the Raiden Shogun's rule. Loyal, Loyal yet unfeeling. unfeeling. Mm. It doesn't feel good to speak ill of my home like this. Aww. What I need to say is... Unless you have an extremely compelling reason to go to Inazuma, you should abandon your plans of trying to get there. Oh, believe me, lady. The compelling reason I've got is more than you could understand. More than you could understand at all. Ah, you should know that the sea around Inazuma is in a perpetual tempest of wind and rain. Oh my. Supposing you survive that... You would still need to get past the samurai guards that enforce the Sakoku decree, the closed nation policy of Inazuma. Oh. And even if you did manage Fine. to find a way, you'd still have to produce the necessary documentation at the Rito Center for processing Outlanders. Otherwise, you'd be kicked out immediately. Oh, fun. Fun. Seems like they really don't want anyone setting foot in Inazuma, huh? Nope, not at all. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get these levels on the audio, okay. <laughs> but there's a place for Outlanders to go, right? It's Rito. They only set that up as a port to guarantee a supply of goods and information to the island. Most Outlanders would be required to acquire Right. But if you really are set on going, there is one thing you could try. Okay, sure. <laughs> no, not a raft. You, know what I meant. you could ask someone from the Crux Fleet if they have some way of getting you to Inazuma. They're well known in Miura. Ah, Beta. Has made them a well traveled group with a wide range of experiences. <laughs> nice. That point is up to you. If you're able to persuade their captain, Beto, then the hardest part will be out of the way. All right, let's give it a try. Good thing I've already got her on my team. Awesome. Captain Beto. Let's go. Go to the Alcor and meet with Captain Beto. All righty. Well, got to find a way there. No wonder. No wonder. How do I get onto the ship? Hmm. Well, I mean, I could always... Oh, wait. Ship's this way. Okay. Let's see what we got. This direction. Can't exactly swim, I don't think. Let's keep looking around. Oh, what's that? Maybe that's our way over. Hmm. Wouldn't be surprised at all. Maybe we just gotta use that floating platform to get over there. Okay. What do I gotta do? Well, 
won that. Okay, so the floating platform isn't helping at all. Mm. Okay. Well, there's one surefire way to get up there. Climb and glide. Climb and glide. And it's going to be a heck, a, a heck of a climb. Where's the dragon spine spear pillar? Or the nail, I guess. Celestial nail is what they call it. I'm not getting in with you. I'm not getting into it with you at all today. Goodbye. 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 I'm not fighting you. I'm not fighting you. I'm not fighting. Okay. Alrighty then. Glide on over then. Glide on over. Good thing I got an amber. Makes this gliding journey a whole lot more efficient. Alrighty. Ooh! Chest. Chest. Gotta get the chest. Nice. Exile's pocket watch. Nice. Go to the Alcor and meet with Beto. Captain Beto. Who the heck are you? Think you can barge in? Yeah, 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 I know. I'm looking for Beto. <laughs> eh, shut it and just let me see the captain. See who needs help. Oh yeah, sure, I'm a gopher. Great. Huh. And who is this? Who have we got here? Mm -hmm. Hey, I know you. You're that traveler, aren't you? The one who have we met? Asile, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. told me about you. Oh, you know Ningguang. Okay. Seal has saved Yira, she said. Yeah. She's a hard one to please, so praise from her is high praise indeed. Nice. Judging by the clothes on your back and this floating thing, <laughs> I guess that time has come. Nice. Hey! Oh, poor Paimon. Hmm. What a fascinating being. You two give off not only the essence of wind and earth, but also yes, the stars. Oh my. The fragrance of what now? Mm -hmm. It's a curious blossom imprinted into her hoof. Nice. I say it no heat. I mean only to say I am certain that it is by fate, not chance alone. <coughs> and that gives our encounter meaning. Is this guy a bard by any chance? <laughs> Not far off, but they go by a different name in Inazuma. This young man is Kaidahara Kazuha, a temporary mm. disguise.
addition to my crew for reasons I won't bore you with. Occasionally he opens his mouth and flowers come out. Would it not be romantically irresponsible of me not to line of poetry? Good lord. Alright. Only a poetry for poetry's sake tends to lack meaning. Hey, you don't want to pass this opportunity up too easily. Especially seeing as our great hero here might be in attendance. What's this about a clash? Nope. The Crux Clash is a martial arts tournament that I hold. There'll be a whole bunch of folks taking part to showcase their talents. Nice. There are two important rules. One, competitors must be renowned fighters. We want hmm. those with reach, though. You've got nothing to worry about there. Nice. I don't think there's anyone out there who hasn't heard of you. Two, you can't take part if you've got a vision. Otherwise, <laughs> things get a little one-sided. I don't have vision, but I've got power. Crouching tigers and hidden dragons lurking around in the earth. Crouching tigers? Oh, no. Now that's going to turn a few heads. I think we can expect a healthy turnout this time. Nice. Well, before you dismiss the idea completely, you might be interested to hear that the prize this time round is particularly sought after. Nice. It's a masterless vision. Oh. By myself, as a matter of fact. If the tournament champion can reawaken that vision, it belongs to them. Mm. And then it ends up being that you end up there. Why doesn't have a master? Well, I assume it's because the master died. When a vision bearer dies, yep. the light in their vision will fade away. But the shell that housed that light remains. Mm. As for whether this shell has any practical application, well, this remains to be seen. But my intuition tells me that while it remains in the world, it may just be possible for someone else to inherit it. Yep. Yep. And the way I see it, a vision is a badge of recognition from the gods. So if anyone's able to rekindle it, it's got to be an individual of exceptional strength and talent. Yep. Organizing the class is my way of uncovering hidden talents. And hopefully this time, getting a vision to glow again. Nice. So if you don't have a vision, this is the perfect opportunity to get your hands on one of your very own. <laughs> to be honest, a vision is of no use to you. Want to go there? Yeah. Well, why didn't you say so? In, a, in that case, if you win the tournament, I'll give you a choice. Master <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, of course, you'll make more money that way. What's wrong with that? The more talent we have, the better the tournament will be. I couldn't let a competitor like you fall through the net. Right. I'm not worried. Great. Then let's get you signed up. Head to the tournament arena in Guyun Stone Forest. Kazuha and I will be over soon. Okay. Seems like it will only be a matter of time before the answer is revealed. Ah. Can a vision reawaken after the gun after the bearer has died? Well, I have a feeling it won't be the question won't be answered in this episode, but in future it might be. Ah, who am I kidding? I know it will be, and it'll be Kazu. Uh, he, that scene was actually pretty dang awesome. <laughs> it was a pretty bad butt kind of moment <laughs> what kind of thing leaves a shell like this holy crap that must have been a huge crab <laughs> I wonder. Uh, I think I gotta go to the top over there somewhere. Yep. 
Reach the target location within 120 seconds. Got it. I can do it. Come on. There we go. Yes. All right, and here we go. And there we go. I'm assuming that's the end because there's another thing. Before we sign up, let's see who the other competitors are. Nice. Come on, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. <laughs> Come on. Okay, so I managed to defeat the challenge and get a nice chest for my efforts. That's nice. <laughs> okay, HIE. Your martial arts worthless though. Famous? He's the founder of the Ling Shan clan. Yeah. You probably wouldn't know that he's got to be a grand master or something. To the Ling Shan clan, he teaches a special technique known as force dispersal. Okay then. It's a type of breathing exercise where you can train yourself to harness the energy around you and neutralize attacks without moving an inch. Okay then. Flying into the air without lifting a finger. Is that really possible? Or is he just taking you for a ride and taking your money too? Sure is. But uh, we're clearly not that naturally gifted. Or we would have at least gotten the chance. <laughs> oh, right now. gosh. But There's a tuition thing? Of course. This is a grand master we're talking about here. Oh, gosh. It sounds like a snake oil salesman. Maybe other reasons why you can't master the technique. Well, we have to try. Exactly. It can't hurt to try. Folks will come from far and wide. Well, that's the spirit. I guess. I think the I think those two are just getting railroaded for money. Honestly, it happens more often than you might think. I'm called Yun. You bet I am. Have you put your names down yet? Not yet. Nice. Nobody wants to see that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me? Only a former runner up in the Tsuhu Rock Freestyle Combat Summit. Oh, yeah. Okay, then. 
Sounds impressive. I came out some uh -huh. But for us, even a time, it's all in a day's work. Right. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'll see you in the arena. Okay, now the last challenger that we talked to. Right over here. Jinyu. Or Jinyo. Hey youngster. Are you here for the cross class? Jinyo. Yes. So. Ah, uh, great. Here we go. One of those serious types. For me, obtaining a vision is the final and most important piece in the puzzle that is my life. Do you want to be a hero? No, no, no. It's not. I know how that sounds. I passed every exam I've ever taken, enjoyed numerous successful business ventures, and seemed to know just about everyone socially. Okay, then. Most people die on vision. You have so much self confidence. <laughs> wow. Time on you pull no punches. Poor people. That's not important. The poor people. I, I've also brought a lot of course. I also put in a few good days practice. Don't be so sure. You know, now then, if you don't mind, I need to finish my pre competition routine. Okay it's then. Not too long now before you'll get to see me in action. I don't know if I care. Alrighty. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Dang. <laughs> Time on, you're brutal. You're brutal. Chase <laughs> Village arm wrestling champion, huh? Next, please. What's your name? I'm the traveler. Wait. Uh, is, is it really them? Mm hmm. The one that spoke with Lady Cookie, I departed. Yep. Oh, I, I trust you are aware of that, sir. Oh, I don't have a vision. Really? But, but, yep. <laughs> my apologies. I didn't mean to. Uh, it's just a formality for you. So far, right. I've got defeated the ancient god Osayo. So that's one. Do you have any others? Defeated a Fatui yeah, Harbinger. Might as well declare her the champion. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you guys got a chance. Um, right. Your registration is complete. A great hero such as yourself. Oh, we're not here for that. We're here because <laughs> Joe promised to take us to Inn and Zoo. There's another prize. Beto must have upped the stakes this time. But why would anyone want to go to I see. So, I take it you discussed your terms with Beto in advance then. I'm just not interested in visions, that's all. Well, I'm sure a great. Anyway, the qualifying rounds are about to begin. Hey, Scott. All righty. All righty. Yes, yes. You seem like you're raring to go. Are you ready to compete? Yeah, I'm ready. Good. Then please follow. All righty. No elemental abilities. Just. Is the favorite to win this tournament. Her first bout begins now. All righty. You? What a strange guy. Really? That wasn't even anything. That didn't even feel like fighting. Really? That was a disappointment all around. Gosh. I bet if I had even more attack percentage, I'd, I'd have won even more. He's only... There we go. Let's just go ahead and, yeah, let's get the highest possible attack damage that we can. Attack percentage 3.3, .3. oh nice. Attack plus 8 and 3.2. Yeah, that'll work. Hopefully that makes it even more of a 
clean sweep. So, mm -hmm. what do you think, Kazuma? She totally dominated that guy and did it with style, too. Yep. Hmm. I also observed our favorite exercise some restraint. Well, hmm. I fought my fair share of battles, both big and... Oh, come on. We All right. You fought well. You fought well. <laughs> I was thinking your inner power might want to join in the fun, but, you know... Mm. A lot of competitors came to me saying how surprised they were that Leroy's hero was entering the tournament. And no. as it turns out, mm. we've had many others do the same, with more than a few top tier fighters among them. I'm sure lots of them are here to find out how they stack up against you. Oh, my boy. Didn't know it was so popular. <laughs> well, since everyone sees you as the one to beat, I figure I should start treating you that way too. For one thing, we don't want you wasting all your energy in the early rounds fighting people who are well below your level. Right. Not to mention, you must be itching to fight someone in your league too, right? Yeah. So, I'm putting you straight through to the semifinals. Huh? But we only did the semifinals. <laughs> Excuse me. Right. How Captain Beto works. <laughs> his waiver otherwise. Oh, my boy. Besides, at your level, to the semifinals anyway. Well, maybe so, but still, still. Fair, kind of like if you had to. <laughs> All right, I'm going to watch some more of the tournament. If there's any potential contenders for you out there, I want to know who they are and what they're about. Right. Um. We're finally here, folks. The real show is about to begin. Yay. The captain seems to have high hopes for this tournament. Your yep. opponent has fought many rounds to get to the semifinals. You may oh, well be stronger than him, but this should not give you cause to lower your guard. I won't. Very well. Show me that you are ready to push through the storm that lies ahead. Yeah. All right, that's yeah. enough chit chat for now. The All righty, let's go. Enter the next round of the tournament. Opponent in the semifinals is. I do not doubt your abilities, but I would say. <laughs> Relax! My girl's I'm ready. Okay, well. At last, the moment we've all been waiting for. The semifinals have begun! Who's it gonna be this time? The hero or the dark horse? I don't care about the prize. You're a strong opponent. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> you know, you give me a run for my money, but you're still. <laughs> you're still nothing. Nothing. I'm sweating all over. <laughs> it's a good feeling. Congratulations. I was beaten by the best. I need to train harder. <sighs> you fought very well yourself. Right. For a moment, if you had a vision, you'd definitely be one of the strongest around. Yep. I went to Division once, when I was a kid. People said that if you're strong enough, you'll have your chance to get one. For mm. mine, I lost interest eventually. I fought and won against vision bearers before. Huh? You mean you didn't sign up to try and get your hands on that masterless vision? No, nope. I didn't. Only in defeat can you understand your weaknesses and learn from them. Mm. So I'm pleased with today's outcome. <laughs> I don't often have the pleasure of experiencing defeat. Oh, nice. Wow. So this guy's actually now wanting to true strength talking. learn. <laughs> if you have the chance in the future, please come. Uh, by the way. Whether they'll be as tough as me, I don't know. But what I have heard is that they're extremely quick. Oh, my. So don't get. <laughs> there he goes. Maybe we should ask around. See what we can find out about our opponent in the final round. Kinda no thinks we might need to up our game a little. Okay. Let's ask uh, about our opponent. <laughs> I myself was eliminated in the third round. Uh, mm. maybe next time. Why, yes. He's the same one who defeated me. He is a formidable opponent. Quick on his feet and swift to take advantage of his opponent's missteps. Oh, my. I faltered for but a brief moment. Given my stature, I have no fear of squaring mm. off with physically strong <laughs> opponents. Mm. But faced with a nimble, agile opponent such as him... I found myself completely out of my league. My goodness. Still, I'm sure he'll be no match for you. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe. 
All righty, next, ask Mr. Leon about him. Hey there! Uh, well, where did the- He tried to use force dispersal to deflect a punch, but instead he took it straight to the nose. His <laughs> opponent was Gosh. pretty freaked out by it. <laughs> he kept asking him, why didn't you dodge? But he was pretty much out cold by that point and couldn't reply. Wow. Why don't you dodge, they ask. Because to not dodge is the very essence <laughs> of Ling Shun Clan Kung Fu. It's just that he hadn't quite mastered it yet. How did your match go? Don't even get me started. Mm -hmm. I spent all my energy helping him get from here to the boat to take him back to the harbor. My goodness. I don't dare tell my master about this. Sorry, I shouldn't be complaining in front of you like this. Oh, all right then. Hope your buddy makes a swift recovery. Hang in there. Thanks. Hang in there, kid. My... And, uh... We still haven't got any useful information yet. Maybe we Maybe can talk to Beta. The there we go. <laughs> you gave an outstanding performance. Truly commendable. I can nice. sense that you're not familiar with bouts of this kind. And it could have cost you the match. Could have, but, but you didn't. were quick to adapt and managed to... In fact, I discerned this not from what I saw, but what I heard. Hmm. The ground beneath your feet and the pattern of your breathing. Okay, then. But... It is nothing remarkable. That's not creepy at all. I discerned nothing more than Captain Beto did. <laughs> nice. <laughs> He's, I guess not using your elemental powers must be quite new for you, huh? Yeah, I'm glad it's almost over. Well, we wanted to ask about who our opponent will be in the final round. Do you think they'll be stronger than the one we faced in the semifinals? <laughs> Maybe. Not exactly. As for the guy you'll be facing, his skill lies in his speed. And what's the matter? Worried that you've bitten off more than you can chew this time? Better be safe than sorry. If that is the case, then I have a proposal for you. Let's go somewhere a little quieter, shall we? Okay. I haven't properly introduced myself yet. Uh, yeah, we could tell that from your getup. But at the same <laughs> time, when you're tough, you don't really sound like someone who's used to waving a sword around. Right. It is true that I am versed both in literary and martial traditions. But on the straggling path of a wandering samurai, is there harm in acquiring a surplus skill? Nope. I do not mean to flaunt my martial prowess, but I myself have witnessed reputable fighters hailing from across the lands. I do possess some knowledge regarding your opponent's particular skill set. Give me oh, your you talents. Do. A few hints from me will be all that's necessary to bring your opponent down. Hang on. Okay, Don't you think you're better? Gathering intelligence is an essential part of any duel. You, you must, must know, know your, your enemy. enemy. Besides, our favorite here has fought many battles on their <laughs> journey from Mondstadt. You betcha, hunt. Wait a second. <laughs> Does someone Does not need a trail when traveling? traveling through the wild? However, there is only so much that can be discerned from these traces. Hmm. I sense that many things about you elude me still. These are the things I am curious to know about. Come Dang. with me. He's Some weird. Post-match entertainment is in order. Post-match entertainment, huh? Okay, then. Let's go see what he's got up his sleeve. A more peaceful location. Huh? Okay, then. Wherever that'll be. I'll just walk there. It's not like it's that far away. It's peaceful here, you know? I mean, wait, do I have my filters on? Yes, I do. They don't look like they're on, but they are. <laughs> I wonder. Yeah, the balloon's off. Okay, all right. It's just the way this lighting is. Too bad. It just looks a bit washed out on cam. I mean, on screen. Let me cut to the heart of the matter. Alrighty, you then. are skilled in manipulating the elements. 
and not just a single element, but multiple. Yeah, you already correct? know, don't you? Paimon knew that That's right. If the other contenders were to catch wind of your elemental abilities, let's just say <laughs> it would cause some unwanted <laughs> misunderstandings. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, you share these considerations, give it. <laughs> <laughs> when I talk about that which I see or hear in you, this is not poetic symbolism at play. I mean these things in the truest sense possible. Since a young yes. age, I have been attuned to the tidings of nature. It is things of this nature that I also hear from within you. Nothing, Nothing more. more. As crazy as all My humble ability to think a human could wield the elements without a vision. And not to mention an incredibly complex <gasps> scent. Like that of some mysterious being. <laughs> hey, stop evaluating us based on our smell. It's weird. <laughs> could you perchance enlighten me as to how you managed to obtain your combined elemental abilities? All I did was touch a statue of the seven. Hmm. So then, might I be so bold as to inquire how exactly it is that you learned to channel elemental energy and even wield it in combat? It's all thanks to Paimon's knowledge. Ah, it's nothing really. It's been a <laughs> long journey, and many things have happened along the way. Honestly, even Paimon doesn't understand how it all works. Oh my, so even Paimon doesn't know. Perhaps such unfathomable know. things are the essence of the gods and the visions they grant. Maybe However, so. However, I still wish to have the honor of seeing how you wield the elements. Mm. Of course, I too shall <laughs> share with you all that I've learned. Fair enough. That will make... Now then, let's test your skills, shall we? All right, let's test skills. One, but I've got I've got dendro powers. I know I do. Wind blades. Yeah. And I hate that they changed my element without me wanting to. Mm -hmm. ah. Your your opponent is skilled at controlling his breathing. He relies entirely on the element of surprise. In other words, as long as you remain pleased, save your thanks. Mm -hmm. Event the world is a true. You seem kind. I desire to know what meaning visions have to the gods, mm -hmm. and what influences the gods' decision to grant humans these visions. Uh, me too. My apologies. For allowing me the honor of witnessing your mystical ways, I am willing to answer any questions you may have. I'm indeed in the dark. Please enlighten me. So that's what you're curious about? <laughs> then allow me to tell you more. Okay, As you then. well know, a vision hunt decree is currently underway in Inazuma. Right. Visions are a gift bestowed by the divine. People that have accepted this gift are now having their visions confiscated inexplicably. Sometimes in circumstances that leave their original recipients dead. Mm. In the outset, supposing each of the seven Archons had their criteria for granting visions to living beings, then does the current Electro Archon now doubt these criteria, or even the act in and of itself? Mm. Not to mention, with no new Electro visions having been granted for such a long time, it would seem that we can infer something of the Raiden Shogun's feelings on the matter. Maybe. She sounds less like an Archon and more like a tyrant. Oof. As far as I know, 
She is an archon that pursues eternity. Yeah. You as contracts are meant to benefit all who reside within Liyue. It goes without saying that the people locked within Inazuma do not fare well these days. Poor games. It sounds a lot like something the god you encountered in the beginning would do. Yeah. Bo, have you encountered the Electro Archon before? It was already a long time ago. With yeah. time, we will change. If you wish to find her, she will forever be there. There will come a day when I too shall wish to understand the answers to eternity from her. Yeah, ah, there we go. The time for your match is approaching. Oh, right. <laughs> If you have no other matters to attend to, then we can return together. Sure, let's Very go. Very well. Let's go. <coughs> good, good. <laughs> you changed my element without my permission. I will not forgive you. I will fix it. I will fix it now. There we go. There we go. And now, go back and finish the final fight. Of the quest. Hmm. Come on. Enter the arena. And fight the final round. Why isn't he here yet? Never mind. We can start by making your entrance first. Everyone, <laughs> listen up! Your attention, please! Alrighty then. We've reached the climax of the Crux Clash! This is the final match! The final We've seen match! Many exciting battles today, and now at long last, the two finalists have emerged. Yes. Now I'd like to introduce our first combatant. She strikes fear into the heart of her style. Wow. <laughs> wow. I've been waiting for this moment. I'm right. sure everyone witnessed her thrilling match in the semifinals. But today's final round will surely take things up a notch. Excellent. Our other combatant, uh, <laughs> he still hasn't arrived. Apologies. Everyone just sit tight. Uh Okay. They've got no other choice. If he doesn't wait a moment. Something doesn't seem right. Captain Vader, perhaps traveler. Oh, I see. They made off with the prize and managed to um Yeah. Let me see. It's gone all right. Huh? <laughs> we don't know when it was taken. <laughs> I never thought that someone here would have the guts to cross Captain Vader. Hmm. The mission was the prize that I had offered, and it was... Well, if you insist, I'll stay here and try to offer some explanation to... If you would, please come with me. Alrighty, let's go. Um, but where... Come with me. I can sense the winds are coming. The winds. The winds. The winds of change have come. Really? The winds have come at an opportune moment. Let's seize this chance. Ride the winds upward. From there we can continue our search for clues. Come on. Okay. Shortly. 
<laughs> Come on. There we go. All right. Keep going. Keep going. Get the clue over here. They're hiding us forward. The uh -huh. on the opposite shore now. All righty then. What does it sound like? Uh, a lot. Sounds like a lot. This way. Follow me. Okay. Trust that you are well prepared for such a scenario. Yep. Here we go. Hoarders, they're here. Get them. Treasure hoarders, just as I expected. In which case, please stand back. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. All right, keep going. Can't be far now. Here we go. Ah, there you are, you miserable miscreant. The speed of the wind. Or if I could activate this one, then you'd never be able to catch me. It has nothing to do with vision. Additionally, your chosen escape route is flawed for reasons that are too numerous to go into. Mm -hmm. On top of that, I could hear your boasting and proud laughter in the wind. In other words, you failed to meet any of the basic criteria for a grand heist. <laughs> Stealth. <laughs> wow, dude. But most disappointing, it appears that the vision doesn't respond to human desire indiscriminately. Fine, fine. I've had my eyes on this vision for quite some time now. <laughs> I'd intended to win the contest through skill alone. All after watching the semifinals, I knew that I didn't stand a chance. Since there was <laughs> no use in trying to, I was prepared. <laughs> you got nowhere else to run now. You know, according to the laws of the sea, yeah. not to mention that my goodness, that it would be only fair to. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> I never would if this is where talking gets me, then forget. Yay, we get our fight anyway. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Yes, there we go. Good job. No, no. Do what you want, but please don't brand my forehead, please. <laughs> she has persevered to the bitter end. Put down the vision and leave. I've changed my mind. No further punishment for you. Uh -huh. Alrighty then. It's wrong. It's up to you. No, no. <laughs> no, no. It's too bad that. He couldn't wake up the vision. I take no pleasure in frightening others. When people are forced into a corner, that is when their greatest strength will appear. I thought it may be an opportunity for him to awaken the vision. Hmm. But unfortunately, nothing happened. Poor thing. I want from the moment he stole the vision. I've tried many other, though few tales tell of a masterless vision reawakened. After seeing you command the <laughs> 
you that nothing is impossible. Right. Come, why don't you give it a try? Let's see if you can give me the answer I'm hoping for. I can't. I see. So you are also unable to rekindle the vision. This poor friend's vision. This was expected. Yeah, what's the story behind this vision anyway? The story begins with an old friend. Uh. He was once a good friend of mine. One day he asked me about a sword art of which he had built, the Musono Hitotachi. Mm. I told him it can only be witnessed when divine punishment is administered. Mm. It is the pinnacle of the Raiden Shogun skill. A symbol My of goodness. power. But he replied, there must be one who can withstand it. Yeah. There will always be those who dare to break the lightning's glow. Mm. My goodness. People's aspirations were stripped away as the Raiden Shogun began to construct her ideal of eternity. My goodness. While I was fleeing from place to place, I heard that my friend had challenged the vision hunters to a duel before the throne. A solemn yet brutal challenge. Mm. The defeated faced divine punishment, while the victors gain a second chance. Yep. Perhaps he thought he of all people should make a stand. Coming face Perhaps. to face with the Musono Hitotachi was all that he truly desired, after all. Yep. When I arrived at Tenchukaku, the duel was over. I heard his sentence of divine punishment, his severed blade hitting the ground. My goodness. Perhaps that was the glory he had yearned to witness. Mm. In his last moments, what expression was on his face? Mm. Before I knew it, I had stepped forward and snatched the dying vision and was running from the scene. All mm. I knew was that I mustn't let his hope, which burned so brightly, become buried among the ice-cold statue of a god. Yep. Seeing love this friend and wish to not... I come to not... find that all I have done is meaningless. But as a wandering wish to samurai, save his vision. I find meaning in traveling and the sprawling beauty of nature that lies along the way, while still retaining the warrior way in my heart. Mm. <laughs> Poor guy. All right, then. It's time we returned. Let's go. Allow me to gather the wind. <laughs> what the heck? Who is... Seagate's sunset. Really? Uh, well, I guess I'm going to have to do this next time. All right. Well, I will see you guys again <laughs> next time here on The Wandering Wind. Take care of yourselves, and I will make sure to make more content soon. Bye. All right, guys. So I finished up the uh, part of the quest that required me to be able to um, get back to this one. I really should remember not to start quests that I don't have the time for. <laughs> anyway, we're going to finish this up and hopefully get ready to start going to Inazuma. Zuhan. Did Beta leave already? Maybe she went back to her ship. If you're looking for the captain, she was summoned by Lady Ningguang. Uh -oh. It seems that the Crux clash got out of hand this time and has attracted her attention. Captain Beta was muttering something about Ningguang being a stick in the mud as she headed off to Liyue Harbor. Ah, uh, poor thing. <laughs> it's not unusual for those two to be at odds with one another. Right. But still, Captain Beta was disappointed she didn't get to witness the crowning of the new champion. She had been looking forward to it for quite some time. The one who stole the vision was originally to be this hero's <laughs> opponent in the final round. He knew he stood no chance of winning the match, thus the wicked idea of stealing the prize took hold in his mind. <laughs> in which case, the crux clash comes to a clear-cut conclusion. Huh? So, if that's the case, then the rules stipulate that he is disqualified. Paimon thought we'd win and all, but not like this. Right? That's it doesn't point. matter. As the saying goes, honor given <laughs> is honor deserved. Nice. Yes, I believe so. But the voyage <laughs> to Inazuma is a treacherous one. You will be plagued by a perpetual tempest the entire trip. 
In fact, the relentless rain and wind are also an embodiment of the Raiden Shogun's will to close the nation. Hold on a second. You're saying she can change the weather just with the power of her mind? Yep. Let us not forget that this is one of the seven archons. If Liwe's Morax could form Guyun's stone forest by casting down his stone spears, then it should come as no great surprise that the Raiden Shogun is capable of summoning an eternal tempest. An eternal Suffice tempest. Suffice to say that if you wish to journey to Inazuma, the Alcor will need some time. You will be notified once all the preparations have been made. Awesome. In the meantime, I intend to embark on a journey of my own. Mm. I will travel all across the vast lands of Liyue in the hope of finding a way to reawaken the vision. The vision. I will believe you'll find a way for sure. Thank right. You. May both our journeys prove meaningful. Mm. One final word of warning. The part of your journey that lies after the storm may well prove to be the most arduous. Yep. Me. Mm. Awesome. <laughs> Well, that concludes the um, prologue to chapter two, or th yeah, two. I will see you guys next time for the beginning of chapter two. <laughs> the journey to is in the. You guys have a wonderful day. God bless. Thank you for being here.